Hello guys, welcome back to another Citrix Lab Setup series and in our previous video uh, we showed the demo on how we can publish various types of applications using Citrix Studio and in this video we are going to publish just one application using PowerShell instead. So let's get started. Okay, here we go. So I have already launched my Citrix Studio and it's just a heads up. So the application that we are going to publish is Chrome. It's just a browser and that particular Chrome browser will be sitting in this particular folder called browser. So right now it's empty as you can see. Let me just refresh it for you. Whenever we are creating big PowerShell commands or scripts, it's better to use ASC because uh, it's easier one. So the commandlet that we are going to use is new hyphen broker application. So before you know jumping into this further, first we will see what all the syntax that new hyphen broker application command it has. So you can simply get that by typing help space new broker application. As you can see, we have many parameters available. So you know probably whatever the uh, options that we had uh, when we are publishing the application through uh, Citrix Studio, you know all those GUI options, everything will be available here. But it's just not everything. It's just almost everything. And before you know right away jumping into uh, you know filling up all the parameters, we will need uh, the name of the application that we are going to give, and the executable uh, file and the path and working directory and the command line argument. So the Chrome application that we are going to publish uh, as soon as it launches from Citrix, it will open up uh, a HTML file because my server doesn't have internet. So I just wanted to show you guys that, uh, you know, including command and arguments, uh, how we can publish the application. So let's get started. So first thing, Let's create a few variables. First one, name. So let's give CTX hyphen Chrome. And next one, uh, let's create executable equals. And I have already have the, uh, the path. So this is gonna be our uh, executable file and next working directory and let's copy this and let's get the command line argument and that's gonna be our html file so this html file it will just only have the services that also I exported it from PowerShell just before this video. So these are all the you know at most necessary things uh, that we need to have uh, in order to publish the application. So let's get started with the, the command new hyphen broker application. And the, the best thing about the PowerShell IAC is as soon as I hit the hyphen, it will bring me all the parameters. So uh, admin folder, admin folder is gonna be the browser folder uh, that I just showed here. Let's give it the name and application type. It's obviously hosted on desktop and next browser name. And I will just, you know, instead of typing anything, I will simply uh, give the variable name that we created the next one and I don't want to type you know all the parameters in the same line so I can simply uh, press this escape character that you can find uh, under the uh, escape button on the top left side on your keyboard so press enter and let's give the uh, command line executable and 
that's gonna be our variable which we already created and working directory is gonna be the working directory and next command line arguments and that we already created cmd line argument and i will press the uh, escape character and go to next one and let's see client folder description yeah it's this just a browser client folder desktop group so this is our uh, delivery group name which is ctx hyphen lab hyphen dg enabled yes true so if you want this to be enabled you can give true otherwise you can give false name name published name that's also name escape character presenter so you can see shortcut added to desktop start menu so these are the things that we don't need and the user filter enabled this parameter is especially for uh, limiting the access for uh, the users who are going to have access to this particular application so i'm gonna give it as one i'm giving one because let me show you once again and if you see it says bool so which means uh, it's, it's a boolean one so you can give either zero or one so one means enabled zero means disabled so let's give one and let's see if we have uh, any other parameters left the necessary ones so we have visible and even if i don't uh, use this it will still be visible so we can skip that okay i think we are good so it's time to uh, run the complete command let me press and there we go so the application has been published now so let me go to chrome i'm sorry uh the citrix studio haha <laughs> and let me refresh it now okay perfect so in the browser uh, folder we got the ctx chrome application published but i want you to notice two things one is if you look at the icon this is not the uh, chrome icon so we have to change it and another thing if you look at here the visibility it's empty if i go to properties limit visibility uh, we have enabled it so uh, the limit visibility has been enabled here but we did not have any option to add the users in the new uh, broker application commandlet so let's go back and now it's time to change those things but we are going to uh, use a couple more uh, commands so first thing uh, let's change the a uh, icon and for that you have to use the commandlet called broker icon and then you have to give the file name so it's the same executable and you have to pipe it to new broker icon and there is one more thing you have to add here because let me just show you so if i hit uh, f8 you will see there are uh, many icon formats and we are not going to use each and every one of them and most of the times the first one is going to be ours 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select only the first one. So for that I will use this parameter called index and I will give zero. So in PowerShell, uh, it's everything starts from zero. It's not like, you know, this is the first line, but it doesn't mean we have to give uh, one. So in PowerShell, it starts from zero, one, two, three. So first one is going to be zero, second one is going to be one and third one is going to be two. So it goes on like that. And we will be piping it to a new broker icon to create this uh, icon so that we can use it for our application. Select. And we don't need all the uh, informations. We just need only UIT. Let me press enter. Okay. And if you look at it, the UID, the number of this particular Chrome icon is six. So that's what we are going to use. And it's better. Let's give app equal to get application published application which is our new one ctx hyphen chrome so now we have uh, you know uh, created the variable called uh, app and all the information about our ctx chrome will be saved here and now it's time to change the icon and for Changing, I mean, not only the icon, even if you want to change any of the properties of our CTX Chrome, after creating the application, uh, you have to use this commandlet called set broker application. And input object, I think. Here I can give app. <clears throat> And let's see, icon UID. So here I will give the UID six. And now let's run this. Okay, now let's go back to our studio. Let me refresh this. Perfect. You can see it is now changed to the proper Chrome icon. So application has been created and we have changed the icon and next thing is going to be giving the access. So uh, let's take app and I'm going to pipe it to add broker user and that user is going to be me. Right? alpha and let me run this and it is added and if we go back to studio and here if you see the visibility is nothing let me refresh this there we go so uh, alpha has been added let's go back to commercial what we have done is we have created the necessary information that we needed to create the Chrome application. So we created all those things with the variable name, you know, according to uh, each and every properties. And then we used the commandlet called a new broker application. And then uh, we took only the necessary parameters and we given the needed information, needed value for each parameters. And then we found uh, the Chrome application doesn't have the proper icon. So, and then what we did, we used the get hyphen broker icon commandlet, and then we found the uh, necessary information from this particular Chrome uh, executable. And since it had uh, too many uh, icon formats, we selected only the first one. It's going to be obviously uh, most of the time uh, it's the same, uh, you know, the one that we will be looking, looking for. So we use the index parameter and we selected only a first one. Yeah. And then we created a new uh, broker icon from that information we got. And then we selected only the UID because when we are configuring or changing the icon of the existing application, we need the icon UID number in order to change that. So we created the new broker icon and then we selected only the UID from that all the informations. And finally, 
uh, we use the set broker application and then we uh, in the input object parameter we given the uh, all the information about cdx hyphen chrome and we given the uh, icon uid which is six that we found earlier and finally we added the broker user which is alpha so all the part is done and the final one is going to be testing how it is so let me open the chrome let me log into citrix so ctx chrome let me click on it and perfect so as soon as the chrome is launched it will directly open this file uh, services.html and if you want you can even open a new browser and you can uh, you know browse for other sites but by default uh, since we have included this in the uh, command line arguments it will by default uh, open this particular html file So uh, that's all guys, that's all for today and if you have any questions, uh, please do let me know in the comment section below and I wish you a wonderful day, bye bye.